a golfer is out playing golf with his golf buddy on the course <laughs> and all of a sudden he stops his swing at the top and takes his hat off and looks solemnly at the side road where a, a hearse is passing by. A hearse is a, a car that transports dead bodies. And he looks at it and his buddy says, what are you doing? We've been playing golf for 20 years and you've never stopped playing for anything. And to that the golfer responds, well, you know, we were married for 30 years after all. That's how much fun we have on Shaven Butcher, which is the YouTube channel. So enough with those DE shaves now for a while. Uh, today we're going wick sexto blade with a kismet blade. But I have received a little parcel. So I'll do a sort of unboxing thing. It's not really a box, it's more of, a, of, a, of, a, of an envelope. So un, an enveloping is what we're doing. This is from Nordic Shaving Company. And um, I placed this order only because Francesco wanted me to to compare some classic soaps and he, he said you don't have Hasslinger so you got to try Hasslinger so I ordered Hasslinger and as I was at it I ordered two more soaps because why not nothing fancy nothing expensive but let's see yeah this is good television oh, okay so here we go Hasslinger Site, uh, uh, site 49, so nice little tin. It's little, but it's a tin. Schafmilch, which is um, sheep, sheep milk. Yep. Schafmilch Rassier Seife. Very good, 60 grams. So this is one of those where maybe I should grate it and put it in there, right? What do you think? I think so. Anyway, I'm not going to use that today. I, I will compare it. Uh, Francesco Cribari, Cribiari, sorry, um, wanted me to compare it to a few others, which I can't remember. Mitchell's, possibly. Tabak, possibly. Well, we'll do that, I, I promise. I've never tried hustling it. Das ist ein deutsches uh, Seife. While I was at it, uh, for some reason, I've, I've grated down and mixed. Oh, I, I remember. I mixed it with, with uh, mit, um, Williams Mug Soap to try and salvage the soap, which was successful. But that was my last Arco stick. So now I have a new one, a new Arco stick. This is Turkish. It's, uh, it's another iconic... Um, Soap, nothing special really, but it, it costs next to nothing. I did buy these a few in Turkey and I gave them away and I paid less than a euro, I think. This was two and a half, I think, so pretty pricey. And the soap I'm going to use today is from, is from Nordic Shaving Company. It's Finnish. They've been around for quite some time. They're famous for a pine tar soap that I haven't tried because I've never tried anything from these guys. Another small tub. So I know some people would struggle with, with all these little tubs, right? This one is Birch. So Nordic Shaving Company, Birch. Huh? Oh, nice. I don't know, what kind of Birch? What part of, what does birch smell like? Is it the leaves or the sap? You can drink the sap. People do that in, uh, not so much Sweden, but, but I know Latvia, for example, and Finland, I would presume, Estonia probably as well. Uh, you, you tap the, 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 the sap from the birch and you drink it, mixed up probably, and, and you can keep it for a while. I've had one year old birch sap um, and they put cinnamon sticks, so you can put different things to, to flavor it. And it, um, what do you call it? It, it, it? There's a fermenting process where you end up with uh, uh, some bubbles. So it, it's a bubbly, it's like birch champagne with a little bit of alcohol in it. Not a lot, but a little. Um, I read that in Riga and it was, it, was, it was quite nice. So 
I wonder what the ingredients are. Hmm. They're very small. Um, no, I can't read it. it. So I was gonna say it's a non-meat. Potassium, potassium, steel. No, I can't read it. So I don't know what's in it and I can't remember. But that's what it, lo it looks like. So it's birch. Nice, nice, very nice. Shaving with that and with the Grey Dog Full Moon Synthetic and Wake, we've talked about that. Oh, that's very good. So I shaved with the, my Edwin Jagger razor yesterday because now I, you know, have to shave with Mattis. I think I'm a pro. <laughs> I'm not. I got weepers all over the place. Possibly because it's a mild razor and I did have a feather blade in it on the second use and feathers are sharp, right? So I, or I got too cocky, more likely. Oh, look, there's a Finnish flag there. Very nice. Like a Matti soap, but from Swamaline. Oh, um, Finland are in the European Cup of Football. Again, I don't care. <laughs> About it. I, I should apologize to Spain by the way. Sweden got a point from Spain. Spain was attacking for 90 minutes, managed not to score. Well, Spain wasn't very good, but possession of the ball was like 80 20, which is ridiculous. But Finland are in. They got three points against poor Denmark. Strange that day game was, was played, wasn't it, after what happened. Okay, so I'm loading this and it's quite soft, so I um, don't know what I'm doing. It is um, it's a little bit harder to see what you're doing in a small tab. Works fine to load it, but it helps if you pay a little bit of attention. That's probably plenty. It's very rare that under load, oh, look, Maybe I did it too, uh, maybe I pushed too hard because there are pieces of the soap. Still, that's unusual. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Never tried the soap before. Never tried it. We shall need to whip it into obedience quite a bit in order to get rid of those pieces, I guess. Very dry, toothpaste-like soap on the face. always interesting with with the new soap when you don't know what it's like and you don't quite know what you're doing hmm. should be fun should be fun yeah it's behaving nicely let's put more more lather in this is a soap I haven't seen on YouTube or a soap maker even that I there's, haven't seen on YouTube at all that I can remember. You see them in Scandinavia, well Sweden I should say, on Shade of the Day pictures some, sometimes. Um, not sure I've seen this one, but they have quite a few, quite a few um, different scents. Pine tar is the most famous one I think, and that's, okay, I haven't tried it, but that's supposed to be really boom. Not quite as sophisticated as the cauliflower. Again, I don't know. I'm just going by evil tongues talking. But that would be good for me because I, I don't mind a bang. You know, if I like this soap, I might get more. I'm trying to think how much it was. And I'm not sure. I'm going to say 14 euros. If I remember. For one, so I'll put a link to the to the company. Well, let's say I do. <laughs> if I like the soap. Um, yeah, it's a thirsty little bugger, and the pieces are all gone, so that's no worry. I think it was the first layer of the soap, and there was just something was, uh, you know, it was just 
hilly. It was cool, poured in a cool way, and then to get the pattern, and then you get the pieces. So never mind. Uh, I'm not gonna get them again. I'm quite sure the way the puck looks like now. Okay, there we go. We've got a bit of a lather. Playing around with it, see what it's see what it's all about. It's still a bit dry. It's still oops, look at that. Peaky already. Hmm. Maybe not so dry after all. Looking really good. Looking really good. Um, and it has a bit of volume to it, which some people like. And I don't mind either. Why not? Why not a bit of volume? It's a beautiful day today. 27 degrees or something, so very nice. By Swedish standards, tropical. Okay, work it in a bit, it looks really nice. Feels good too on the face. Nice and peaky. Yeah, quite pretty. Let's see if, yeah, that looks fine. That looks good. Let's do it. I can jam more water in. But then it's not gonna look as nice, is it? Okay, so let's see if I remember how to shave with a. Uh, no, I did the other day, didn't I? It just, <laughs> there were quite a few DE shaves in a row there. Messes with your mind. So Kismet Blade and uh, third, fourth use. I, use, I promised myself I would keep score this time of how many shaves I could get out of a Kismet Blade. And I forgot, but it's two or three that have been done already. So this is number three or four. And so it's quite fresh. So let's see how close a shave I can get compared to a four pass shave with Matthias Razor. Now I'm just doing my usual stuff now. Is it lathered? Is it wet enough? Boom, shakalaka. Man, why is that? Bored man saying shakalaka. I don't know, darling. He's clearly mentally unstable. Then why is he allowed on television? Uh, that is a good. There is. They have the same voice. What well, they're related, mother and daughter. That is a good question, my daughter. Or my son, no, my daughter. That's social media for you. Any whack job can get in front of the camera and do damage and twist the little girl's mind with expressions. The young ears should not hear. Did you see Shaven Butcher's new video? Yeah, he was talking like a mentally ill person about... No, you shouldn't joke about mental illness, come on. Then again, you should be able to joke about anything, shouldn't you? Not everyone will like it, but it's fun. And let's face it, making jokes after all is, is a good way to try and keep sane yourself. I find. And you know, it seems a lot of comedians, like stand-up comedy people, for example, are pretty miserable people. You know, suffer from depression, that were beaten as kids. Not everyone, but something makes you go into comedy, doesn't it? Good thing I'm just into shaving. Wonder what that says about my childhood. Cool. 
Maybe we should turn the television off, baby girl. What do you think? This is no good for you. No, mama. Oh, he's got a new voice. Just came into puberty, the little girl, and, and got a high-pitched voice. Okay, back on track. Not sure there was a track, but this is ridiculous. Like the soap, it's a nice soap. But you know me, if you follow the channel, I like lots of soaps. I'm really not very picky. I like trying new ones. I don't know why, because I should know why. Because I have so I have quite a few. I really don't need any new ones. And every new, new soap I get nowadays, you know, they can be phenomenal, but they will be just as good as a few others I already have. So it's like I'm dead inside. Mommy, he's dead inside. Look, I told you to turn that rubbish off. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Mommy, I think the bald guy with the funny voice murdered. No, okay, we're off track again. This is slippery, so can I stretch at all, I wonder? Or do I need a piece of cloth? I, I do. What is this? A piece of toilet paper. If it's too slippery to stretch, if you need to stretch, just use that. You can use anything, really. Well, not a banana, because that's not going to work. Mind you, yeah, that would be uncomfortable. Plus, oh, phew, fuck. That was close. Oh, what am I doing? Is it a bad, is that a, is that a bad word? I'm sober, I promise, and no medication. Ah. Did I get my nose? I think I'm okay. Okay, my hands are a bit all over the place. Bit of a weeper. Some days my hands are good, some days my hands are not good. Speaking of which, new raffles out. That was the previous video. So check it out. Some of you may be tired of the raffles because there have been quite a few. You don't have to enter. But if you're watching the channel regularly and haven't entered a raffle, then I think you should consider to do it. We're raising money for a good cause. So unless you want people to suffer badly when they have Parkinson's disease, you should buy some lottery ticket. Say the same thing every raffle and people go, I don't know, I'll, I'll watch Kevy shaves. <laughs> he doesn't beg for money. He's just nice. Very good. And I've dried up a bit, so I can stretch now, barely, but I still, I can. Uh. Yeah, those, I think those are weepers from yesterday with the Edwin Jäger. It was bleeding quite heavily. You know, if your hands aren't with you, I don't know if you, if you know what I mean, because sometimes you're just poorly coordinated, you have a disease or not, and then just stop it. That's hard to do, but stop the shave if it's really bad, or at least go slow. At least go slow. I find myself having a, a not very good shave, and I know it's not gonna get any better, and I just wanna get through it, and I shave more quickly, and then that's when you can cut yourself pretty badly. A 
can feel the skin is quite sore from yesterday. I never get that with straights. Then again, I don't do four passes with a straight or a chevette. So, if you're shaving every day, you can't go over the top. Shaving every day, two passes with a straight or a, or a wick, no problem for me. And I get pretty close to a close shave. So today, at least I'm gonna do some pickups. I'm liking this soap. Scent strength is not high. So I can pretty much not feel it anymore. Which, that could be my nose. Because some, some days my nose is not very good. It's a bit of a disappointment. I'll, I'll use it more times. Maybe, again, maybe it's just my nose today. But I, I was expecting more of birch. Whatever part of the tree. So I'm gonna work this area. Because that's where I got really close with the, with the, the D. I'm bleeding, and again, pretty sure it's from yesterday's shave. Because I'm, I'm not making any bitties today. I am behaving. So cheeks are perfect, perfectly BBS as, as usual. So I'm gonna muck about and cut myself a bit on the <laughs> lower half. Which hand should I use? Okay, so this is new, pretty much new experience. Toilet paper. Yep. Here we go. This is not gonna go well. Good attitude. Maybe not use a wick. Mm -hmm. Okay, screw that <laughs> sign. Okay, and then something like this. What did I do? Can you remember? Yeah, that should pretty much do it. And then the the hollow area. Almost at the side. Almost. Ah. Skipping. Okay, not gonna push it anymore. A bit of a pickup. Let's see what that let's see what that did to the end result. Shall we? Yeah, better. This, this is spot. That's perfect. That's perfect. And I could I could do more work here. It's not BBS. Pretty damn close. Pretty close to be damned. I think even if I had not this razor, I think. Let me finish rinsing. I think I would struggle to do BBS every day. I actually think my skin wouldn't cope with it. Well, you could train it, possibly. Do a bit of alum. Haven't done that in a while. Hmm. No blood, really. There was something there and there was something there, but that seems to have gone even before the alum. So there you go. Nice, nice, nice. Feels pretty okay. It feels just a little bit rough, it, it sure does. I'm gonna clean out the brush and the container while the alum works. So what I do is I rinse out the brush a bit and under water I clean, I pour water into it and I clean it with a brush like that. 
this I think it looks not very nice if it dries with foam on it. It looks like mold. I know it isn't, but it looks like it. And then I put it upside down for a few minutes, and then I put it to dry uh, with the top up for 24 hours. And that does the trick. Okay, brush is rinsed, so it's gonna be dried later on. Okay, cool. Alum did its job, so cold water, take the alum off. Very nice. Very nice. And a close shave. Close shave. Oh, cool. No? Oh, rumt. Dog's gone. A walk again. He's hopeless. Hopeless dog. Ooh, quite a burn. And before that dries fully, I'm gonna do cauliflower balm. Okay, the dog's on the street. <laughs> Better go get him. Okay. So he escaped somewhere. God knows where. That's it. Cool. So it was the... Where was it? The birch. I don't know where the lid is. I lost the lid. Birch from Nordic Shaving Company in Finland. And it was quite nice and we had a good shave. Thanks for watching. Stay sharp. See you soon. Stay sharp. Take care and stay sharp.